Good evening and welcome. This is the top story that we are tracking for you. The killers of U.S. journalist Daniel Paul are all set to walk free. This comes after Pakistan's Supreme Court ordered the immediate release of the main accused Ahmed Omar Sheikh. The Pakistan Supreme Court has dismissed the petition by Sindh government. This petition had challenged the release of Pearl's killers. The Supreme Court has gone back to upholding the verdict of Sindh High Court, which had earlier ordered the release of Omar Sheikh. The Supreme Court of Pakistan has dismissed all those appeals which were filed by the Sindh government against the judgment of the Sindh High Court. Two petitions were filed by the family of late Daniel Pearl. Those two petitions have also been dismissed. Meanwhile, the decision that has left Pearl's family in complete shock. In a statement, his parents said, and I quote, Today's decision is a complete travesty of justice, and the release of these killers puts in danger journalists everywhere and the people of Pakistan. The duo has maintained that no amount of injustice will defeat our resolve to fight for justice for Daniel Paul, unquote. Now, the deceased journalist's parents further urged the U.S. government to take all necessary actions under the law to correct this injustice. India has now reacted to this verdict, calling the acquittal of Omar Sheikh a travesty of justice. The Ministry of External Affairs said this verdict now demonstrates Pakistan's lack of any seriousness on taking action on terror-related issues. Meanwhile, sources have said that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Pakistan Foreign Minister Mahmoud Qureshi are likely to speak over the phone. If the call takes place, it will be the first contact between the Pakistan officials and the new Biden administration. Ironically, it would be in the backdrop of this verdict. Daniel Pohl, the 38-year-old South Asia Bureau Chief of the Wall Street Journal, was kidnapped and beheaded while he was in Pakistan. Pohl was investigating Islamist terrorists in Karachi after the 9-11 attacks. When he was kidnapped in January of 2002, Daniel Pohl's case grabbed headlines globally after a video of his beheading emerged weeks after he was abducted. British-born Ahmed Omar Saeed Sheikh was sentenced to death in 2002 for masterminding the murder of the U.S. journalist. Omar Sheikh has been in jail for 18 years. Three others, Fahad Nasim, Salman Saqib and Sheikh Adil, have been serving life sentences for their role in the killing of Daniel Pohl. Omar Saeed Sheikh was one of the three terrorists freed by India during the hijacking of the airliner IC-814 in 1999 in exchange for the passengers. Now joining us on this broadcast is Azra Nomani, a journalist and a friend of Daniel Paul. She was the last person to see Danny and his wife before he was abducted and murdered. Thank you for being with us. Now, as someone who was a friend and a colleague of Daniel Paul, what was your first reaction when you heard that Daniel Paul's killers are said to be free. It's just devastating. You know, um, 19 years ago, January 23rd, 2002, that was the last day, the last moment that I saw this great human being, Daniel Pearl. And every single human being in the world should be worried right now. If Omar Sheikh is free, he will do more damage to our world. He will take life. He walked the streets of Delhi in 1994 in Connaught Place, and he took people into captivity then. He was freed, and then he took Danny Pearl into captivity. Any single person walking the streets of any bazaar, any shopping district, any place in this world needs because Omar Sheikh is a criminal, he's a terrorist, he's a danger to humanity. Azra, the U.S. has said that it is willing to take in custody the killers of Daniel Paul. Do you think that the Biden administration will move forward with the extradition process? The U.S. government must absolutely move forward to extradite Omar Sheikh. He is guilty not only of kidnapping and leading Danny to his death and his murder, but the kidnapping of a man 
1994 from the streets of Delhi. It is just unimaginable if America was to allow a man so dangerous to walk the streets free. Danny's murder was blueprint for terrorists around the world on how to execute and terrorize human beings in this world. There can be no freedom for a man like that. Being needs to be worried if he walks free on our streets of this world. Everybody needs to be worried. And the Biden administration must act. Danny's parents ask for extradition of Omar Sheikh to America for justice. Azra, thank you very much for joining us and for giving us that account. Now we're being joined by Susan Tehrani live from New York for more on this story. Good evening to you, Susan. Now, are you collecting uh, anything on the ground on what and how much the U.S. administration can do about this acquittal, a murder which shocked the world and the U.S. in particular? Extradition would have been ideal. However, there is no extradition pact between the United States and Pakistan. Uh, past administration have signaled, as you mentioned, and uh, this is a very sensitive issue right now as the U newly appointed U.S. Secretary of State uh, Antony Blinken plans on speaking to his Pakistani counterpart about. Uh, we'll have to see how far the Biden administration is willing to go beyond condemnation. But considering the fact that uh, we'll have to look at these issues legally, it might take a little bit of time, which any day is too much for many journalists who look at the situation and wonder whether or not their safety and security is at risk with someone like this being uh, let loose. It's important to note that the Trump era acting U.S. Uh, Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen last month when he heard that of this possible verdict and charges being dismissed against this mastermind of the killing, kidnapping and murder of Daniel Pearl, he said that uh, we appreciate of Pakistani authorities. We are unsuccessful. Quote, the U.S. is prepared to take the man into custody and pursue the case in the American court system. That is the acting U.S. attorney general during the Trump administration. We'll have to see how the Biden administration will move forward, uh, considering the fact that Daniel Pearl was an American citizen, former Wall Street Journal reporter. Right. And uh, Susan, how is the acquittal being received in the U.S. publications and on platforms there? Yeah, you know, uh, Pearl's parents in their statement really uh, talked about what many people hear right now, which uh, is, quote unquote, a complete travesty of justice. Many journalists are feeling that publications are quoting what Daniel Pearl's parents uh, are saying through their lawyer. Uh, that's the most coverage that we've been getting so far. They are. Justice. Um, and, you know, there are concerns about the safety of journalists right now, American journalists overseas, and how the perpetrators of possible crimes ongoing after this uh, will be treated if journalists are kidnapped uh, or taken. Uh, or uh, murdered potentially by Islamic extreme extremists and um, how they will be treated uh, not under the host country's laws but under American law as well. Everyone is looking at this case uh, very carefully because it will send a message and a precedent on how the Biden administration plans on dealing with uh, international and national security issues like this one. An expert speaking to the New York Times, it's important to mention, said that this ruling shows the weakness of terrorism on the streets of Pakistan in a matter of hours or days. Absolutely. Susan, thank you very much for bringing us all the latest details there. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.